Good morning, everyone. It's Christ Kids time. My name is Crystal and I'm our children's ministry program leader. If you're a Christ kid or a Christ kid at heart, whether you're here in person or at home online, can you give me a big wave? Okay, this morning I need you to turn on your listening ears for a special word. Listen to these next couple of sentences. Oh, I hope I get a whole bunch of toys for Christmas. I hope Grandma makes me my favorite cookies for Santa. I hope we get some snow to play in. I hope I don't have to give Great Aunt Beatrice a hug this year. She smells funny. If you are listening really closely, all of those sentences have a word in common. What was it? Hope. That's right. Hope is expecting something to happen or a desire for a certain thing to happen or not happen, like hugging great Aunt Beatrice. But the way that we think about hope is a little bit different than what the Bible teaches us about hope. In the Bible, people for hundreds and hundreds of years were hoping for someone to save them, a savior. And lots of people called prophets, who were the people that received those messages from God, had told them that there would be a savior, but they kept waiting. Sometimes when we hope for something, we have to be really patient, even more patient than waiting for grandma's cookies to bake. But when we have hope in Jesus, we know that what it is we're hoping for and waiting for will happen because we can trust God's promises. It's kind of like when you have a really scary dream and you wake up feeling shaky and you're crying and it's dark and you feel all alone. Oh, I get trembly just thinking about it. You don't just kind of hope your parents are in their room. You somehow know that they'll be there and they'll make you feel safe again. They'll turn on the lights during a dark and scary time. They'll be close to you. They'll love you and they'll help you focus on all the good things to come instead of the scary things in your dream. Jesus did the same thing. At a time when the world seemed dark and scary, Jesus is like a light shining through that darkness, giving us hope leading us to focus on God's love and God's promises. That's why we celebrate hope this first week of Advent. And when we don't feel very hopeful, we can go to God in prayer. Let's do that now. Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus, who gives us hope, who is a light to guide us in the darkness. Thank you for keeping your promises to always love and be with us, even when life seems dark and scary. Let us keep our focus on you this Advent season. We love you, God. Amen.